Hi viewers, welcome to Munir Hussain Mathematics and now we shall start class 9th mathematics book from the very first chapter, the first chapter matrix and determinants. Matrix was discovered by Arthur Calle in 1858. He presented his theory of matrices and remember that determinant have been discovered 300 years ago than matrices. So first of all, we shall see what is matrix. So matrix is a rectangular array of numbers or elements enclosed by square brackets. And here the word rectangular is used because a square is also a rectangle. So it can be a square array, right? So in matrix, there are elements, horizontally arranged elements. And these are called rows of matrix. And the vertically arranged elements are called column of matrix. And very important thing, which is order. When we add, when we multiply, we should know the order of matrix. And the order of matrix is simple row by column. If a matrix has m number of rows and n number of column, order of matrix will be m cross n. Yes, the order of matrix will be M cross N. And now we shall go to the very first question of exercise number 1.1 in which we have to tell the order of the matrix. So here is the first matrix. And in this first matrix, A, 2, 3, minus 5, 6. So here, there are two rows and two columns. So order will be 2 by 2. And uh, the next one also same, two by two. The third matrix C, only one row, elements two, four. So two columns, one by two, it will be ordered. And the next matrix is D matrix. Here are four, zero, six, one column, but rows are three. So its order will be three by one. Next is E, and in E, there are three rows and two columns. So its order will be 3 by 2, F, only one element. It means one row and one column. So its order will be 1 by 1. Very easy. Just find the number of rows and number of column. And you can find the order of matrix quite easily. Now, another concept, equal matrices. If a matrix have same elements and also same order, for example, it is 2, 3, 4. And it should be a column. It is 2, 3, 4. It's row. It's not equal to this. Order also same. And, num and all elements should be same. Then the matrix is called equal matrices. So now we go over the question number 2. So here we have some matrices. We are given. But if someone plus minus elements, we can subtract first. So C matrix is actually 5 minus 2, 3. And similarly, the matrix G is 3 minus 1, 2, and 3 plus 3, 6. So it's 2, 6. Similarly, I, 3 plus 2, 5. So it will be 3, 5. And J, we shall add all the four elements 2 plus 2, 4, 2 minus 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 2 plus 0, 2. So now we can see easily that matrix A and C are equal, and B. B and I are equal similarly and D is equal to none and E, E is equal to H and I and G is equal to F. So these are the matrices which are equal. Now the very last question of this exercise in which there are two equal matrices are given and we have to find the unknown elements A, B, C and D. So first of all we should know that we should write here if matrices are equal then their corresponding elements are also equal yes so now we have four equation by corresponding elements matching we shall get a plus c is equal to 0 a plus 2b is equal to minus 7 c minus 1 is equal to 3 and 4d minus 6 is equal to 2d now what we do we have to find a b c and d so first of all we shall calculate the value of those variables which have only one 
variable in the equation. For example, equation number 2, we have c minus 1 is equal to 3. So from here, we can easily find by taking 1 to the right side, c is equal to 4. And once again, the next one, which is only one variable is 4d minus 6 is equal to 2d. So 4d minus 2d is equal to 6, 2d is equal to 6, and d is equal to 3. Now, so the next two uh, variables in which we have to put the values. Yes, in this a plus c is equal to 0. We have a plus c is equal to 0. Now we have known the value of c, which is 4, put there. So a plus 4 is equal to 0. It means a is equal to minus 4. And the last one, which is equation number 2, a plus 2b is equal to minus 7. Now put the value a minus 4 here. Now we shall have 2b is equal to minus 7 plus 4, which is minus 3 and b is equal to minus 3 by 2. So this is the first exercise. In the next video, we shall go for the next exercise, exercise number 1.2. Till then, it's goodbye. Subscribe my channel, Munir Hussain. See you in the next video. Till then, it's goodbye.